Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Erin. On today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a DIY bath bomb. Now this formula is perfect for beginners as it is fairly easy to put together. So let's go ahead and get started creating. The first ingredient I will be weighing out is going to be baking soda. I am using my sifter so that I don't have any clumps in my bath bomb. To the baking soda, I will be adding some citric acid. Again, I will be using my sifter just to ensure that there's no clumps. Once I have added the citric acid, I will now be weighing out some cornstarch. And again, I just want to ensure that there's no clumps in my bath bomb. Now that I'm done adding my cornstarch, I will be setting this container off to the side while I go ahead and weigh out my wet ingredients. So the first of the wet ingredients that I will be weighing out today, I will be starting out with my fragrance oil. Now the fragrance oil that I chose to use, it is called Celebrate. It has a citrusy, uplifting, almost spa-like scent to it. I will see if I can find it, and if I'm able to, I will go ahead and link it down below in the description box. To my fragrance oil, I will now be adding some polysorbate 80. Now the reason that I'm using polysorbate 80 is it's a natural emulsifier. It is actually sourced from vegetable matter, and it allows my fragrance oil to bind with water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my surfactant. I have chosen to use cocoa glucoside as I just really like how it works in this formula. To give my bath bomb some color, I will be using this vibrant colored mica today. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the liquid part of the formula for the bath bomb. And this just helps to make sure that the color is evenly dispersed throughout. Now, whatever colorant you choose to use, whether it's liquid or mica, make sure that it is skin safe. Now that the liquid portion of my formula is complete, I'm adding it to my dry ingredients, making sure to get everything in this beaker out, and then giving it a quick stir just to make sure that everything is nicely incorporated and I get this lovely purple color. So here is the mixture thus far. So here I am just putting my dry ingredients into both the top and bottom portion of my mold. I am making sure to pack it in pretty well and then putting both the top and the bottom part of the mold together and squeezing them. I will be holding this for a few minutes just to let it set. To remove the bath bomb from its mold, I am taking the end of my spoon and I am tapping both sides. So just real quick, I wanted to share with you what I ended up doing and it didn't, for whatever reason, didn't record when I was creating this video, is I found that my mixture, when it came time to put it in the mold, just wasn't clumping together. So what I ended up doing was I ended up adding a little more of my surfactant and I added just a little bit at a time and that helped it so that I could clump it together in my hands. So I hope that helps somebody out. I just live in such a dry, hot climate that I need more moisture in my formulas. So here is the bath bomb in action and as you can tell, it has a great fist to it. The bubbles from the surfactant is not a whole lot, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted. I do love the color, the way that it turned out with that purple mica. And I have to say that the fragrance oil that I chose to use today smells absolutely amazing. I think it's gonna be one of my new favorites. So thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more DIY formulas, don't forget to like and subscribe.